emodels.co.uk for all your modelling needs. Go make something awesome. <laughs> Right, Colin here from Festa 67's workshop, and this is my little e models audition tape. Enjoy, thank you for the opportunity. Shut, Shut up, up and, and sit down. down. Hello. And welcome to part one of the E-Models build of the Tamiya Honda CBR 1100XX Super Blackbird in 112th scale. So if you haven't built a model before, now's the time to learn. So nip out, pour yourself a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, pull up a chair, sit down and enjoy so what's in the box well there's your nice bit of box art that's what we're going to be making rather suave i think you get your detailed tamiya instructions giving you each section numbers one through to 16 and in here are the pieces that you want for each representative section as well as all your paint call outs so as we go through that you'll see what's in there there's your sprues each one has a load of parts on there seats wheels engines etc you've got the body panels as well on there fairings tank seat cover your frame sections okay fairings canopies lights etc your tires all the screws and a screwdriver and yeah our good old favourite chrome now you can keep the kit chrome on but me personally where you've got these gate marks on the side of the sprues there what can happen is when you trim these off with the cutters you end up with little spots of chrome missing so we'll be stripping those using a bit of bleach so I'll show you and guide you through all of that so we'll just move the box to one side. Pull out the instructions. And have we look at what we've got. So what have we got on the instructions that we need to look at? I'll just grab my pointy stick. you have the part number <clears throat> which corresponds to your sprue so C and then 14 corresponds to the sprue there so C 14 is that section okay so we know we need those two bits and also we need C9 so we'll nip them off now cutters get yourself a pair of side cutters nice little flat edge like so okay and what you want to do is you don't cut tight to the piece you cut see where this little gate is in there see where it goes flat and then bulbous try and cut it about five mil away from the part so you leave what's called a nub okay like that go 
Okay, so do that on all of them. Yeah, do the same the other side. So, and we want a middle section which is C9, which is over there. Again, just cut the nub as near as away from the piece as you can. Okay, we're done with that for a minute. So we'll file that in the box of good hope. Get yourself a couple of sanding sticks. Okay, uh, you can get thinny sticks and things like that from our sponsors emodels.co.uk get yourself some sanding sticks of different grades and what you want to do is get your piece cut about a mil away just like so okay do the same on the other side sanding stick like so and then where you've got the nub you just lightly sand the nub away using coarser grades there's a coarse grade on this side and then a, a finer grade and then on this sanding stick another coarser grade and then a really smooth grade okay I tend to go in the direction of where the seam is and let the sander do the work just light pressure enough just to actually keep the sanding stick on the piece actually let the sanding stick do the work that's what it's there for okay. and that will get rid of the nub See? like that okay. bingo and just run your finger along and it's smooth okay so that's that nub done looking for the other two they are there there it is just in there see so again that's a chunky one so get your nipper and just come a little bit to trim it off okay and another way you can do it as well is with your knife okay and then just light in the direction Kit like so, okay. Have you a little bit of that? There you go, it's another piece done. Okay, and you're just going around the frame looking for it. There's the other nub just there. Yeah. Just feel that under your thumb. There you go. See, and the sander's doing the work so that you don't have to. Yeah? Smooth. As silk. So I'll just do these other pieces like so. Then 
if this is your first kit you're going to be a bit nervous but you'll get the hang of it and then as your skills go and grow your confidence will grow and you'll feel a lot more happier with what you're doing but at this stage it's learning the techniques and that's what these videos are all about is a little build series of the bikes you can then learn some new skills and be turning out some beautiful model kits of your own and feel free to message me you can get get me on my youtubes as well which is festa 67's workshop um, on the facebook as well festa 67's workshop and send me your pictures you know i like to see everyone's work i like to see people are learning i like the feedback and uh message me send me your pictures of all your glorious work and uh, I'll be sitting there going yeah I'll give you a shout out on me uh, Facebook page and say yeah pop along see this person's wonderful model kit what they've built how good they are and uh, let the world see your work the models also have a gallery on their website so if you pop over to the emodels.co.uk website go in there and you've got a gallery of um, builds that customers have done go in there upload a, a picture give it a name tell everyone what it is you've done to it and uh, there is a live stream on a Monday night on the eModels channel and I uh, think it's once a month that they do it where you can actually win something so yeah get your work up there get it seen and uh, I'm joining the fun. Fox, Ted and Chris do it on a Monday night. And enjoy. So we'll just use a little bit of Tamiya Thin. On there. Like so. Extra thin. And this works by using what they call a capillary reaction. Wow, big word of the day. And it, where it is so thin, it actually works its way along the glue joint okay now as per the instructions we're putting that little middle piece in and then we're joining this frame together there's a pin just here that goes into a hole just there line those two up like so make sure then that the slot on the middle piece is in the frame and the little locating pin down the bottom is in there okay get yourself a dab of extra thin and it will shoot straight along that little line bosh hold it for a little second and that will be done and whilst I think of it I'll put a little bit on these two pins as well so one piece there there you go and another bit on there like that Spin it around. I want to get a little bit in there. Let's 
let's lose that for a minute there you go in this pin just under there so put a bit in there and then down this seam so what I'll do is come down the way like so give it a little pinch and squish together and what you're doing is you're using the kit's own plastic to join with the glue the pieces together because extra fit is a welding glue see look at that just give it a squish going together and if you want to give it something to hold it together you can use pegs clamps whatever you've got to hand uh, there's parallel clamps that you can get Don't you just use me fingers? Okay. Invest in some surgical gloves as well. Yes, I'm not wearing them. But I've actually forgot to put them on, so don't be like Fester. I've got a drawer full of gloves. Just here. A thousand of them, just on my left. And every time I start one of these builds, I'm like, yep. Yeah get me gloves out okay surgical gloves stops the scourge of the fingerprint but and there you are put that to one side and let it dry and make sure you put your lid back on your extra thin so I'm going to leave it there um, hopefully it gives you an idea of what I'm about I want to make the video as short as possible um, Fox, Ted and Chris and Tony you know if you need to know anything else pop over to my YouTube channel uh, and see me work and there's a little montage coming up any minute now of the rest of what I do with the end credits a uh, little um, uh, slideshow little slideshow of some of my work and um, hopefully you enjoy what you see and it will give you something to think about so thanks for considering me hope you enjoy the video hope to see you soon bye bye